can't say I can't say nothing. I can't pinpoint anything. In other words, that makes me stand out than the next man. Because I'm just trying to be me. Man. I'm just doing me. It's like we said last time, you know, like one of the things that really, you know, grabbed my attention, that's why I know you were real humble, was when you said, you know, when you wake up, you smile at the world, so it's not bad. You yeah. know what I mean? And I think that should resonate with everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, they forget that in the industry, yeah, you gotta put in that work, but you also gotta have fun with it. Yeah. Or else, you lose sight of it, you know? You lose sight of it, yeah. Because well, when it becomes work, then there's, there's no fun for it, you know? So you gotta... Fun, you know, you gotta find different ways of fucking making it cool. And that's with any job, though, you know, any job. But a lot of times, a lot of people ain't, ain't, ain't lucky enough to get put in that position, you know. So when you do get lucky enough to get put in that position, even if it's just, it don't even have to be nothing major, just, you know, just as long as you get a piece of the pie, dude. You know, it's like, I look at it like, I'm not trying to be the richest dude, or, you know, the fucking, the dopest motherfucking company in the, in the industry, dude. I'm just trying to get a piece of the pie, dog, and get comfortable with it and make sure my people are comfortable, dog, and my family, dog. That's all. That's all I, I care, dog. I don't have to be the richest motherfucker, dude. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to have, to, I have to have a big ass mansion, dog, or, you know, like ball out of control, dude, and have fucking Lambos and all this bullshit, dog, you know? Although it would be nice, dog, you don't be able to afford all that shit, dog, you know what I'm saying? But, but that's not my goal. My goal is to be able to live comfortable and hop out the next man so the next man can hop out his people and then and then and then tr and it goes into a chain of command on you know and how about that person that person off and everybody lives comfortable though and everybody you know and now if you get to a point where you get real successful and you get to that point and let it be dog it was meant to be you know but if you could just get a piece of the pie dog and live comfortable dude and be able to help people around you dude at the end of the day dude you're gonna be you're, you're, you're gonna be on a good on a good status dog because you helping other people out dog and good karma is Good karma, no matter what. You know? Don't say you do good, you're gonna get good. You know? you do bad, you're gonna do bad. You know? Well, you're definitely getting share of the fine, man. Not only are you involved with the whole music team, but tell us a little bit about your acting career. Yeah, man. You know, we're, we're doing the, the acting too, man. You know, we're doing it for many, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's it, that's another thing too that that, that, that I kind of been kind of slacking off in the last couple of years and I've been wanting to get back into it, it's the acting book. But uh, you know, I've done, I've done some movies, you know, like a couple of voiceovers and I've done like, uh, I work with Mike Judge, the guy that's the creator of Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill. I've done uh, Idiocracy with him. I've done an episode of King of the Hill, you know. Uh, I've done a couple of little short films with him, you know, and Terry Crews and, and you know, Luke Wilson. And I've done uh, a couple of uh, Christian Bale with you know, David Aguirre, a couple of uh, movies called Harsh Times. Uh, work with Paul Rodriguez, you know, and the, the, the recording with him, and uh, Nick Turturro, and uh, you know, a, a, a lot of a lot of different actors. All that, like back in the days, dude, I, I never thought I'd be put, I'd be in that situation, you know, like I'd be at parties, do red carpet events, dude, where I never thought, like, damn, you know, the millionaire dude, I'd fucking be here, you know? but you know, it's it, it's finally starting to sink in, like, damn, well, you know, all that hard work you put in over the years is starting to fucking make make sense and shit. And that's why I tell people, you know, saying, yeah, this shit don't happen overnight. You know, a lot of people come in this business, things can happen overnight, and don't, you know, it takes time. You know, whether it's movies or music, clothing, whatever the fuck you do in this magazine, even with the magazine shit, you know, whatever you do in this, in this industry, it takes time. You gotta lay that foundation, you know. But the movie shit, like I said, that's one thing that that that's kept me afloat too, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie, man. That's that's really been my money maker because I'm really not making a lot of money out fucking music. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, really, I'm not doing, I haven't done a, a solid album dude in fucking years, though, you know? As, as Polo Cafe or Brown Town was doing, you know? And so, but the movie scene is always what keeps me going, man. Acting, you know, done CSI, done, you know, little parts here and there, do cameo appearances on different TV shows, though, you know? Like fucking documentaries and, you know, and fucking, uh, just, you know, just different little shit here and there, do short films, dude, and all that independent shit, though, so, you know, and, Sometimes, dude, you know, I'll get paid a hundred bucks for the day, dude. I'll be there for 12 hours, I'll set, dude, but I don't care, dog. I'm there for a reason, dude. I'm contributing, dog. And, 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 and I'm doing what I love, dog, you know? And on top of that, dude, they feed me. So <laughs> that's like the perfect job for me in my eyes, dog. You know what I'm saying? When you can fucking be on set just chilling all day, dog, and fucking lounging around, dog, and fucking mingling with people, dog, and eating for free, dog, and <laughs> getting paid, dog. <laughs> 
That's a job. That's a job. I, you know that I've always dreamt about, man. Mm-hmm. Are you looking to pursue anything? And uh, let me rephrase that. As far as your acting career, what are you about? To, what are you looking to do in the next year to two years? Are you actively pursuing it, or is it something you're just gonna let come by? Um, right now, as of right now, I'm starting to get back into it again. Like, you know, like I'm starting to go back out there on auditions. You know, I got my agent and uh, you know, Amanda Chacon. You know, shout out to her. She's been hooking me up with a lot of, a lot of stuff. Then I got my manager, Ace Diamond. And he's been hooking me up with a lot of stuff he gets when I just so I'm starting to get back into it little by little again, you know? dog. But I but what I really wanna do dog, and even with the movie shit, I love I love doing the movie shit dog. Like I said, it's fun dude, it sounds a cool shit. But what I really wanna do dog is is is, is in the, to produce independent films. You know, down the line. They, so now that's what we're trying to do little by little right now. We're trying to start, you know, like bringing in script writers, bringing in, you know, different people to you know, storyboard ideas, you know. And, so we can start coming up with different shit, dog, and just start producing our own independent films, dog. Even if they go straight to DVD or Netflix, I don't give a fuck. It's still, as long as I get my shit out there, dude, but I'm not gonna bring some whack ass shit either. I wanna bring some good quality shit, quality actors and quality production, you know? Make that shit look right. So when people are at home watching that shit on Netflix or DVD or whatever, they'll be like, yeah, this shit is nice, you know? So that, that's basically what I really wanna do with the acting shit, you know? I'm still gonna pursue it, you know, and, and hopefully I get more roles down the line, and, you know, but I want, I really want to start doing more, film, uh, like producing my own independent films and shit, you know? Whatever happened to Lloyd's Radio? Uh, Lloyd's Radio is still around, dog. It's still around, man. The homies fucking Rico Hood and Spengdo and, uh, and, and Jorge Bravo, they still do it, man. They just ain't doing it on the on the station they were doing, and now they just, they, they do it straight on MP3. And uh, you can look from you can look from uh, on uh, the podcast. I think it's uh, loyaltyradio dot dot podcast dot com. I believe. Not Pot- just look Potomatic. Up, Pot- 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 my bad. Potomatic. Pot- yeah. It's just I mean people can look them up and they, and and they play all dope ass hip hop from the eighties to now. You know, but like all the dope dope hip hop. You know, and no like no mainstream shit and all that shit. You know. You don't play a you don't play a part of, uh, you don't play a part of that anymore. I still promote I still promote their stuff and. If uh, if I ever I want to make a guest appearance or something, you know, like I'm more than welcome to jump on, you know, shit like that, you know, the homies come through, you know, like I'm, 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 that's something that I'm actually thinking of doing is is uh, is uh, opening up a studio or maybe even for right here is, is uh, set up a couple of uh, uh, live stream cameras and we can start doing uh, some live streaming once a week and kind of do like like that like uh, live stream uh, radio show, but. You know, get an artist to think you're doing a, a song, you know? Mm-hmm. And they're knocking out a song and at the same time we're streaming and we'll be able to have them, they can interact with their fans, you know, talk to the fans and, and all that shit, you know? So we're kind of thinking about similar, maybe doing that, maybe we might be able to do Lower T Radio once a week, you know? So, so you know, it's a possibility.